<clears throat> Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video blog session. It is about 1 a.m. right now. I have been up and about trying to get some stuff done. As you can see, I was stating a bit of law, but yeah, I just decided I want to do this video blog quickly and I'm uploaded by the weekend bef before I fall asleep. <laughs> okay, so about four days ago I was talking with a few friends and we had a little get together. Now the thing about this get together was that during that time there was a curious conversation about what people do in and out of relationships. I mean the things that they easily get agitated over and I'm just gonna talk a bit about that the thing about guys or girls that you know crush on the person they like and like the person that and that particular person doesn't like them the same way they do or doesn't see them the same way they do the person who has that crush tends to get frustrated at that fact and I see this a lot particularly with guys that start you know hitting on girls and then the girls just friend zone them they get frustrated they get, they don't only really get frustrated, they get angry. And I mean angry. Why did she go to feel me? I give her my heart, my soul, everything. Dog, dog. No, that's not the way to go. The point is that there's nothing really wrong with you. I mean, if one person doesn't see you the same way that you see them, or doesn't like you the same way that you like them, it's not that there's something wrong with you. It's more of different folks, different taste. The person may be interested in some guy like this, who's this and this. Another person may be interested in some guy who's this and this. Or, or a guy may be interested in a girl who's this, this and this. You know, different folks, different structure, different tastes. People are different, I guess. You know, you should think about it. At some point in your life, there must have been someone who also liked you, but then you didn't like her the same way she liked you. Or if you're a girl, right there must have been some guy who liked you but you didn't like him the same way he did another funny thing is that you know this usually happens during the relationship let's say especially let's say after a breakup for example you see a lot of you know the what the members of the couple right form conclusion and say like if you're the girl you blame the guy but if you're the guy you know then you blame the girl you say oh it was her it was her fault and the hilarious thing about this problem is that it's even in the bible i mean there's this funny little story of two very well-known people adam and eve you know as soon as the apple was eaten who was first to point fingers it was her it was her obviously adam he started pointing fingers at the you know the shorty straight away without even a second thought and the funny thing is that you know more times you will have friends that vent their frustrations on you, telling you everything. Like, let's say if your friend is a girl, she'll say, He's late, he's annoying, he's always going in, he's always babbling, he's always farting, I'm getting tired of it. Hey, shorty, calm down. First, let's take a whole look, a reevaluation of the things you didn't excel at in the relationship before you start pointing fingers. Okay? Okay. Another thing is that things like that happen and you know people will be people but what I also believe is that God put us on earth for a good reason. One of those plans is that he wants us to meet a few bad people before we meet the right people. This doesn't only focus you know on intimate relationships. It can be you know finding the right friends, the right neighbor you should live with or you should trust everything happens for a reason you know what before i even continue let me just make one thing clear when i say everything happens for a reason i don't mean you should use that overuse it as a you know your shield so that you can get out of certain situations i have seen people use that excuse over and over again i am sick of it it even disgusts me why would you use something like that to justify your actions when you know you are wrong let's take this for example oh um john i'm so sorry uh you know, I hooked up with your friend today. We went to the party and, you know, I ended up making out with him. But everything happens for a reason, so bye. No, that is pure stupidity. People these days tend to use that saying as an excuse. If you know 
And if you see it being used as an excuse, ignore it. I'm telling you, ignore it completely. But if it's something that's uncontrollable, like if something, if someone came into your life or something happened by accident and then you were drugged or whatever, that's acceptable. So be careful of people that use that as an excuse. And to even go further, be careful of people that you trust. I mean, I'm not saying build up a wall so that you just say push people away and everything. I believe that there are good people in this wall. And then obviously it's better to open up to certain type of people, but you should be careful. Moral of the whole thing is that make yourself a better person. You know, know yourself inside out before you start knowing another person and allowing he or she into your life to know you as well. The reason I say this is because when you know that you are like this, you are like that, and that person judges you based on certain things that you do. If you know yourself properly, you can decide if what he or she is saying is blasphemy or he or she is saying might be the truth. One way of knowing yourself is through others and how others perceive you. But if you know yourself pretty well and if he over there knows that you know yourself pretty well, then there's no reason to fear. I mean, there's no reason to hold back or to let what people say put you down if you know yourself pretty well. Yeah, the moral of the story is, you know, particularly for guys that want to go in relationships or girls, guys and girls that want to go into relationships or want to get to know people or want them, or want others to like them, you know, romantically or whatever. Don't try so hard. I mean, I have been there. So all these things I'm saying, I've literally experienced it. Don't try so hard. Hard. I mean, the best things in life will come later. When I was younger, I didn't have a lot of confidence. And because of that, I was often pushed around, especially by girls. You know, with time, things become better. The best things in life come eventually. I mean, I've met a lot of people that I feel that I'm blessed to meet. I've made a lot of friends. I'm even surprised I'm able to talk to a lot of girls. Sometimes I wonder how I'm able to talk to them, but the fact is, I don't try too hard. I'm just cool with them. As for me, I gotta go. I have, what do you call it, class around 7 a.m. and I have still not slept, so I, I'm out. Peace.